Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Fialkov, and I'd like to talk to you about rhinoplasty surgery. Rhinoplasty has become very safe and affordable in recent years. A skilled rhinoplasty surgeon can change any visible feature of the nose from the overall size to the shape of the nose. Nostril size can be modified as well. Not only does this procedure affect the appearance of the nose, it affects the function as well, making breathing through the nostrils a lot easier. Where do you begin? The very first thing to do is to determine if you are actually a good candidate for this type of surgery. A consultation with a well-known surgeon is a great place to start. The ideal rhinoplasty candidate is at least 18 years of age and it is in good overall physical and mental health. It's good to have some idea of what you want to be done with your nose. Do you want your nose smaller? Do you want it straightened? Do you want the nostrils made more even? The septum fixed? Do you require a type of reconstruction or revision? The surgeon should let you know if your expectations are possible and realistic and what your nose will look like after the specific things are done to it. Keep in mind that there is not one perfect nose for everyone. A nose that looks perfect on someone else might look bad on you, depending on your other facial features. Now let's talk a little bit about closed rhinoplasty, also known as internal rhinoplasty. This procedure is done through incisions just on the interior of the nose in such a manner that no part of the incision is visible externally. Since there is a disconnection between the right and left nostril, it can be a bit of a challenge to reposition the skin around the nasal area. Closed rhinoplasty is ideal for certain situations, such as performing a minor bridge refinement or bridge augmentation. The benefits of this technique include reduced operative time, less swelling, a faster post-operative course, and of course no scarring along the columella. Now let's talk about open rhinoplasty. An open or external rhinoplasty utilizes a bridge called a transcolumellar incision to connect the incisions made within the right and left nostril. Some surgeons use an inverted V incision and others prefer a stair-step mid-columellar pattern during this procedure. The nasal skin is folded back to give the surgeon visibility and access to the underlying structure. The advantage of open nasal surgery is that it allows for treatment of complex cosmetic deformities as well as congenital ones, such as cleft lip nasal deformity, severely deviated nose, etc. Additional advantages to this technique include direct visualization of the cartilages for improved precision and accuracy, the ability to modify the nasal shape during complex procedures, more control and precision, and very minor unnoticeable scars. Let's talk about other types of nasal surgery. Septoplasty. Septoplasty is the alteration of the septum to straighten the airway. Ethnic rhinoplasty is a tailored solution that best suits your needs based on your ethnic background. Secondary surgery, also known as revision rhinoplasty, is an additional surgery that's required when the initial procedure was not performed properly and the patient is unhappy with the results. What can you expect? Depending on the complexity of your requirements, the rhinoplasty may take anywhere from one and a half hours to as long as six hours. The surgery can take place in an outpatient surgery center, facility, or as an outpatient at a hospital. In most cases, the patient will receive either general anesthetic or a combination of sedation and local anesthesia. Swelling and bruising are common for the week or so following the surgery. It can take a full year to see the final result. Thanks for watching.